Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be installing a wig from West Kiss Hair. Inside the package, I received the edge brush, two HD wig caps, a bonnet, some lashes, and an elastic band along with the drawstring bag with the company's name. The wig that I received is a 13 by 6, 200% density, 26 inch frontal wig. As you guys can see, the knots on this wig are super small so they were pretty easy to bleach. I left the bleach on for about 15 minutes to get the knots to disappear. And the wig did come with some wand curls in it, but I did have to recurl it because when I was plucking, I combed out some of the curls. For this wig install, I'll be installing it completely glueless using no glue at all. The only thing that was glued down was the ball cap. So I already placed the ball cap on my client's head and this is how the wig looks after it's been plucked and hot combed in place on her head. As you guys can see, the wig already has a snug fit on my client's head. That is because I used the clips in the back and hooked it together on the wig. Now I'm just removing the extra lace from around my client's ear tab so that it can fit behind her ear. Now that I've cut all the extra hair and lace from around my client's ear, I'm going to cut all of the extra lace off that I won't be using from my client's hairline. You guys can see how thin this lace is. There's no glue added and it's already blended so well with my client's skin tone. Just to show you guys that this wig is completely glueless, I'll be lifting up the lace in the next clip. As you guys can see, it's just a ball cap that is placed down with glue and the lace is completely glueless so my client will be able to remove the wig as much as she wants. The makeup isn't necessary for this wig install because the lace is so thin, but I did add a little bit of makeup on top just to remove any ashiness on the lace if it's there. Now I'm going to do my client's baby hairs just as I would if it was a regular install using my got to be glued gel, the black one, and my cream of nature mousse.
After I finished the baby hairs, I tied them down and while I was styling, I let them dry. I just recurled the hair to blend with the back some big loose wand curls. Now that the baby hairs are dried, I removed the wrap strips and placed some bio silk on the hairline so I can start to hot comb. I combed out one part of the baby hair so that it doesn't look so hard and stick down. I wanted it to give a soft look so I just combed it out a bit. Now I'm just placing my wax stick on the hair to lay down any flyaways. Now the last step of the install is always to outline the part with the makeup that matches close. So I'm using the same angled brush and my Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation number 10 to make the part look sharper. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching and comment below any questions you have.